everyone! <laughs> How are you all, my little beauty dumplings? I hope you're all really well. Um, it's been a while. It's been a long ass time since I did a video. Um, I have recorded a few recently. The editing went well until I went to upload and then everything turned out to be a black screen and all you could hear was my vocals, my voice, vocals. Okay, same thing. Strange terminology. Moving on. Today I thought I would do my top five skincare products. I am obsessed with watching people's skincare products. I love to transform my skin and I feel like I have found at least five products that have transformed my skin recently. One in particular which I'll talk about just shortly. I have got a couple of blemishes right now. I'm more hormonal than anything else if you know what I'm saying. But I wanted to show you what I do and what I use to keep my skin looking not like bad. Great explanatory words. Okay. So first things first, the product that I have been loving using is this Bioderma Sensibio H2O um, Micellar Water. Obviously I've used this before, I've been using it for years now, but this one's the travel size which I was gifted by Bioderma. Thank you for sending that across. I just love this. It's the original for me anyway. It's the original. I don't know if it is actually the original or not. It might be worth having a look into but it's the best. It's the first one I ever used and I still really really love it. Expensive, kind of hard to get a hold of um, but definitely great. It definitely removes all of my makeup in a flash. I know you're not supposed to but I use makeup wipes oh, by Beauty Blogger Points and I put some of this onto a makeup wipe and put it on my face, take all my makeup off and then I go and wash my face. Um, that's if I'm feeling like pretty lazy. So this is like the Lazy Girls cleanser. <laughs> like after a night out I am quite happy just to throw this on and be done because <laughs> let's face it nobody wants to be drunk and using a cleansing balm like ugh, all over the face not good but I absolutely love this and obviously I have the full size version I've got the Garnier version I've got a whole host of versions to be honest with you but this one is still the best and because it's travel size makes me love it even more and I take it on holiday with me to Toronto and I will be taking it with me when I go to New York love it so apart from nights out and when I'm feeling pretty damn lazy I use this I've been using it for the last couple of weeks now and I am freaking obsessed with it. It is the Just Be Botanicals Cleansed Cleansing Balm. It is an award winning cleanser and I flipping love it. You can see I've used quite a bit of it. It smells like, I don't know how to describe it, like you can smell, I don't know, you can definitely smell beeswax. I'm looking at the ingredients and the ones that I can definitely smell is I can smell beeswax, jojoba oil, yohobo, yohobo, yohobo oil, and I can smell coconut oil a little bit, but mostly I can smell the beeswax and the yohobo oil, and it's flipping beautiful. Like it comes out, like it's like it's not like usual cleansing balms. You've got to work it into your hands a lot to kind of melt it down. This is already pretty well melted, so don't put it in the fridge or anything like that. You don't want to do that. But I love that this is so soft, it feels like butter on your skin without feeling too greasy and it takes off literally every scrap of makeup on your skin in an instant. Um, I know that Caroline Hirons loves this and I was kind of really on board when I saw that she loved it but I thought I'm going to try it for myself and have my own opinion of it and literally no wonder it's a beauty award winner. It is absolutely beautiful. Leaves my skin feeling and looking pretty damn good and I honestly it doesn't really take an awful lot for me. It takes, oh yeah it doesn't. It usually takes a lot for me to love a product that much but this has made it into my monthly favourites on my blog. I did a review on it and I just flipping love it. So go and buy this, you will not regret it. I really hope that they bring out travel sets with these in it because I really want to take this abroad with me. So, love this. Moving on to something that I actually got in a Look Fantastic beauty box. It's the Codage, Codage, Codage scrubbing cream and it is for all skin types and it is just a exfoliator. But it's so good. I absolutely love it. The beads in it are really, really fine. I know that a lot of people have got problems with beads um, because of 
pollution and because of the problems that it can cause to animals and things like that. I'm not sure that this falls into that category because these are so, so fine. I obviously am a huge animal lover and genuinely would never do a damn thing to hurt an animal but this stuff is just amazing and I don't think this stuff, this stuff, the code, <laughs> this exfoliator really counts because everything is just so fine. I hope that you can see that. Probably won't come across too well on camera but it's, it, the beads are just so, so fine and I feel like my skin has had a good old salt scrub and yeah I just really really love it. It leaves my skin feeling super soft. You only need a really small amount. Again this is like a travel size. I hope you can get a full size of this because I really want to replace it. But yeah I just really love it. You apply it onto dry skin um, which I also like. So yeah you just gradually add water to perfect the exfoliation then rinse thoroughly and dry the skin. Again it's a French product as you can probably tell and for some reason there's a lot of French products here and they all seem to be doing really darn well in the beauty industry. I don't know what it is about French products that just seem to be amazing, but I absolutely love this. Moving on to a brand that, this is the first thing I tried from the brand. It's Jeune V, Jeune v Pure Natural Skin Care and it's the Pure Natural Collagen Moisturiser with Hyaluronic Acid, AHA and Retinol A. Designed to firm skin and delay the signs of ageing by, and it's De La Mer, which is a different range. I think they've got different types of ranges. So this stuff is like a serum. It's I know it says moisturiser and it comes out like a moisturiser. It is white, but it feels like a serum on the skin. It is so hydrating and moisturising. A little bit goes a really long way. I literally just used a tiny little bit and it's literally done the whole of my hand and down my arm. Smells a little bit plasticine, which I'm not hugely a huge fan of, but um, yeah, it says it can be used up to three times a day on cleansed skin. I wouldn't use it three times a day, I will use it once a day because it's quite a small bottle and I don't want to go through it too quickly and it's pretty expensive. I think it's around about uh, £24 or thereabouts. Um, it definitely does do what the can says, what the bottle says. It, I would say it moisturises. And because of the fact that it's so moisturising, it delays the signs of ageing. I can't really say that I've noticed too many signs of ageing, considering I'm only 29. Oh, yes, 29 is a young age still. Okay, <laughs> just remember that. Last but by no darn means least is my La Roche Posay Epiclar Duo. And it is a corrective, unclogging care, anti-imperfection, anti-marks. Now I have got a whole lot of little thread veins on my skin, which look like blemishes, but they're not, they're just little thread veins. And they are like the bugbear of my life. And this seems to have really reduced the appearance of it. So I've been using this for the last two years and I have had three bottles of it. This is my third bottle and I've almost finished it. I just go back to this time and time again. I know a lot of people love bio oil, people love anything with vitamin E in it. I absolutely love this stuff. It's like a really good, um, I would say a watery moisturiser. Not watery, but not thick. It's really thin and I just like the way that it feels on my skin. It leaves it feeling moisturised and I know that it's doing some good to my skin at the same time. So I know it doesn't feel greasy on my skin either throughout the day. Can't stand to feel greasy. That's great boss, that's great. You just go on by. <laughs> Sorry. So I love the fact that this um, sits on my skin but doesn't feel greasy and literally within about 10 minutes you don't even feel like you've got any bit of product on your skin whatsoever. Um, I would say that with the Gin V one, you do. You do feel it throughout the day. Not throughout the day, but over the next like hour, two hours, you will definitely feel some product. After between five and ten minutes, this stuff is like sunk into your skin and it just feels good. Your skin just feels good. And I know you're probably not supposed to, but I use it on my lips too. And my lips always feel really super moisturised as well. So, yeah, great all-rounder. Love this too. So there you have it, that's all of my skincare five top five skincare products. That was a great ending to the video. Got it all wrong. Anyways, I'm just getting back into this whole videoing YouTube thing that's going on and I'm really enjoying making videos. This is the second video that I've made today and you'll be seeing a lot more of me. Obviously, go ahead and check out hollysbeautybox.co.uk. All the links and stuff are down below. But make sure you subscribe if you like this video and give it the old thumbs up if you enjoy it. I would be only too glad to read your comments and reply to them all. So 
let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching bye